in Pikachu's um, direction, I guess. But, you know, you have seen some Kirby's like Fufu do some work against um, Pikachu's with Kirby, so we'll see what he can do. Yeah, uh, something else to note is that Stevie doesn't usually go Kirby. Uh, he's really? He usually favors Fox. Okay, so, so a Fox uh, and, wow. and he's probably switching off because, you know, obviously Fox versus Pikachu is, uh, very, is very rough. awful. Uh, so I'd like to see how his Kirby does. I don't think I've uh, I've seen him play it in a long time. Wow. Doesn't oh. look... Oh, start. It's a little start press. I think it was Stevie G. They're just gonna... <laughs> they're they're yeah. not gonna do that. Oh? Ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Reed with the forward smash. Wow. Okay. Reed's yeah. the up. Yeah. Oh, but dash attack just not doing enough. Here comes the Pika Edge Guard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, Ooh, okay. just misses Good the DI, ending back air, but, but it doesn't Stevie matter. G it's enough to kill. Um, one thing that I would like Stevie G to change is he's kind of doing that forward air um, recovery, mm -hmm. and he's not kind of mixing it up. Though I think the biggest thing you have to do is mix it up because you want to get back on stage no matter what. Right. Mm. Oh, Good there. I think uh, KD3 trying to get that oh, nice spike. Edge cancel on top platform, but great. He just got that. Stevie he G. just got that one or two hits, so it was really difficult for KD3 to di that. Though, mm -hmm. though, if he had, he probably could have gotten back on stage. But here, as I say it, oh, um, oh nice, amazing. CVG. And there you go. That is what we call a mix-up. You know, he got that forward air. Oh, ah, oh, great. This up is his turnaround up tilt. Um, one thing he does have to watch out for is he did use his up B though, so he is big Kirby. Um, a little bit easier target for Pikachu to hit, which you definitely do not want. Great down there. Uh, but his uh, his hitboxes are a little bit bigger though, right? Yes. It's it's that whole trade off. Um, depending on your playstyle, you know. Great back air. So that's what um, you just kind of want to do. They want to kind of get that poke with the up air, especially if they're at a little bit higher percents. And that's oh, it. Good grade. That's it. So Kirby's at low percent um, can pretty much be zero to death by Pikachu if they get mm. a grab. So one thing you'll see Kirby's do is they won't be grounded at zero percent. They'll be more in the air. But the problem with that is that Pikachu can kind of get those pokes in early, mm -hmm. and then as soon as he's in percent range to get an up tilt up air combo, is very very That's, difficult. That can be it. We'll see what Stevie G will do. I would like to see him switch to Fox. I know it's it's <laughs> not a hey you not seen, a good you match. Foxes but do it so certainly it's it's tough, but. Uh, as a Fox main myself, I want to see it happen. <laughs> Everyone loves Fox. Such a great dynamic character. Okay, so he's opting back. Okay. So um, I did actually get to watch Stevie G play another Pikachu, and he um, was doing more of a kind of campier, floatier playstyle. Mm -hmm. And as I say that, he does it, and it's not working too well. Okay. Where is that oh, DI? Wow. Yeah. Oh. KD3 definitely could have made it out of, uh, of at least the <laughs> last of those ups, uh, up tilts. Great Nair. Oh, and he misses his up B. What's going on with KD3? I don't know, but. Is he getting overconfident? Is he on tilt? I, maybe he's just lazy. Who knows? <laughs> So this is very scary for Kirby. Um, as you saw there, KD3 kind of stood where Kirby would roll and up tilt. It pretty much will catch Kirby, and, and just that leads to a death almost every single time. So it's very difficult, and um, Stevie G did the right thing of just kind of barely landing on stage at the edge. Oh man, by contrast, Stevie G has really turned on his spacing in this stock. Absolutely. And you can see his edge guarding become oh, a little man. better. Um, oh, Wispy making things a little difficult. As you see there, like, what can Kirby do? He has to land on yeah. stage. Yeah. Oh, Stevie G mixing Nicely it up, though. Done, wow, Stevie great G. up tilt. And he oh, reads the, the up beat. Nice, wow. twice. Going off stage two. Wonderful, wonderful stock. Ah. And this time, he mixed it up with the roll. And that's the thing about, you know, great players. They always mix it up. Great to see from Kirby's. Just resetting neutral. Biggest thing for Pikachu's to do, they have to weave. You have to be careful with your aerial movement 
and just weave your back airs. As you can see, um, KD3 got those back airs in. He was able to edge guard. That's what you have to do with Pikachu. Don't try to be too aggressive. Um, you can't just be rushing in as Kirby has one of the best defensive games, of, you know, ever. Ooh. Oh, Very man. Fast okay. Movements. Up tilt. Up and oh, weave back air. air. Yep. That's going to do it. Great job. <laughs> and we have Finio cheering for PA, as always. So those stairs, um, you have to be kind of careful. Oh if you're gosh. not doing a oh, great combo. 83. If you're not being careful, um, Pikachu's or any character can really tech it quickly. And that will lead to, a, as you can see, a, a stop right there. So you have to kind of delay it or do it very, very quickly with Fastfall. And that is the, I believe, the last hit of the dare is what pops them up. And mm -hmm. that's what you're able to act upon. Good try. The up tilt just a little bit late, able to trade. Ooh, oh, forward smash! <laughs> very, very great choice. Um, he could have done the grab, and I believe at that percent at top platform, it would have killed. It, yes, I think it would. I think it would. Able to get the forward smash, anyways. Up tilts. Oh, and he turns around. Okay. Um, gets the strong back air. I keep waiting for the, the rev and finish, the, the up and finish. I know, it's so great, but KD3 actually has had pretty good awareness with um, DI'ing that weak back air. Mm -hmm. And so... <laughs> I, think that, I think that's seven stocks. <laughs> that is seven stocks. DQ. <laughs> 14 stocks according to Dark. Okay. Oh, no, that's at least 16. <laughs> <laughs> So um, one thing I would kind of want Stevie G to do, this is very risky, but um, what he can do is <laughs> he can actually go more off stage and try to punish the up -bees, Um Because you saw KD3 do a couple up that are pretty close to stage, and Stevie G just chose to kind of back air um, around the stage. Mm -hmm. He could have actually chosen to got um, beyond the stage and try to hit him as he's doing that small quick attack motion. Mm -hmm. um, maybe just be a little more risky in that sense to get more edge guards or more, um, at least pressure him so he can set up more mix up. Sure, yeah, I, I would tend to agree. I'd like to see him uh, play around the edge a little bit more because he seems to be strongest there. Yes, definitely. Doing Kirby again. Although that's that's extremely risky because, uh, as you said before, Pikachu can just he can cover a lot of options Absolutely. with just uh, sitting and up tilting. Great grab. Okay. Oh. Oh, catches with the forward air. Um, also, I think forward air is a little bit underused as well. Um, people think it's just weak, but it's great for just getting catching them barely, just as Pikachu pokes with his fair. Wow. Great mix up from KD3. Good recovery. Back air getting a All little right, bit not more damage. He's going to be able to follow that, yeah. uh, but it will return to neutral. Oh, great read. So, again, with Kirby, something that you can do is you want to read when Pikachu's about to hit the ground, and you can kind of mm -hmm. aim for that situation with forward smashes, grabs, up tilts. Oh, nice turnaround. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, oh. if he had just done something. <laughs> So I think actually what CVG was trying to do is that fair, if it hits mm -hmm. the other way and Pikachu just hits the stage, yeah. you can actually get a dare follow-up off that. I think that's what he was going for, I'm not too sure, but unfortunate situation for CVG. Oh. oh, that up air. Ooh, great interrupt interruption jab. Okay. Oh. Oh, I, I was a little bit scared little there for a second. little bit careful there. Very, very risky. See, there you go. <laughs> He's done. off Nicely stage done. and okay. kind of reading that Pikachu up B, and there yeah. you go. That's a stop. That's what I want to see Stevie G doing more. We know he's yep. capable. He's and he's he's doing it. He's he's luring KD3 to the edge. Yep, aim for the edge. Oh, oh. oh wow, just barely makes it. It's very difficult. KD3 did oh. a little bit of flop, but so does CVG. Unable to capitalize. Here we go. Can we see it? <laughs> oh, Again, KD3 unable to DI Gets the dare out. anyways. And there we go. Unable Doesn't even need the Revit combo. To DI. <laughs> Great combo from CVG. 
just KD3. Oh, gets caught. No, oh, no. It's not what you want to see. Oh. Yeah. Just reading the top of Kirby's up B. That's all you need to do. Yeah. Very easy to edge guard. Unfortunate from Stevie G. Okay. What was that? Maybe just a kind of beta mode. I'm not too sure. Some some sort of uh, new taunt <laughs> game? I don't know. Oh, oh nice. Up to, oh. And if you are going to do that, that can work, but you have to be able to follow up very quickly. Yes. So something that Fukuru does is he does do that, but then he's able to run off fastball, do a fair to the next platform. <laughs> and it's that sort of consistent, quick movement, I think, that, uh, that separates most oh, American absolutely. players from most Japanese players. Oh, goes for oh, up my smash. Gosh. Okay. I think that was unnecessary, but it got the job done. Well done. Oh. Okay. So a strategy that Pikachus like to do, they like to do that fair onto their shields and they land on platform to get a jack grab or something. Mm -hmm. But um, KT3 actually went too low. Oh. All right. Nice. All right. Good dash back and then forward smash. Great job. Yeah, one thing that KD3 did, um, even though he lost the match, is he would kind of pressure your shield and do that wait until they're about to get out of their shield. He got a couple up air pokes from that. Mm -hmm. um, he's doing a great job. I think Stevie G was just able to convert a little more, a couple tech clubs here and there. So we'll see if KD3 can just bring it right back. He only needs to do it once, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Off to a good start for oh, KD3. Okay. Let's see if he can convert this to a stock. Okay. High percentage Kirby on edge. Very, very difficult situation. Standard edge guard. And there we have it. Kirby has to work that much harder. It's very, very difficult. KD3 oh. missing that edge cancel with go. his up B. Oh, Stevie G missing that the turnaround uh, jab. Pivot up tilt. Or maybe definitely the turnaround jab. Maybe no, that's no, what he, he was going he, for. He definitely meant a uh, pivot up tilt there. Oh, Stevie G a little bit late. Um, uh, using up all your jumps there while Pikachu's on the edge is <laughs> such a risky thing to do. Because you're essentially saying, Pikachu, don't, don't do anything. Don't do anything. Exactly. <laughs> and. KD3 having good awareness because um, a lot of Kirby's they like to roll and up tilt immediately. So one thing you could do is you can either grab them before uh, they do the up tilt here. or wait and in between the mm. up tilts get that attack in. And great job by KD3. Very solid start. Oh, Whoa, great wow. DI! He finally shows us his <laughs> DI. Why? Where was that for the up tilt combos? Ah. Uh. Um, Stevie G, he's playing it safe. One thing that works well for all characters is when you land on the platforms, you stay on the edge. So that way, if you're hit, at least you're hit off the stage or off the platforms. Oh no! no! Oh no! SD from Stevie G. Let's see if he can compose himself and make a huge comeback. Great down tilt on the platforms. He can do it. Stevie G, Stevie G has the skill. He does. He has the composure, the skill. Um, I see if you can pull it off against a strong player like KD3, though. Ooh. Again, the weave from Pikachu's. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Kirby right. up tilt, so ridiculous. Uh, KD3, every time he is on, on one of those side plats and Stevie G is underneath him, KD3 gets hit. I think every time. Really? Oh! He really needs to be uh, trying to reset neutral there, uh, mm -hmm. putting himself on, on uh, at least even ground. Um, but uh, but instead, he keeps putting himself in range for those forward airs and his up mm -hmm. And there you go. Again, he was on the edge of the platform, just to kind of be able to be pushed off. But Pikachu with the grab, able to uh -huh. take it. Great job from KD3.